Welcome! This is part one of two where I'm going to give you an overview of the tools for object. So let's put a cube down, left click, drag, select it. And we're in objects over here and these are the tools. So the move. The arrows allow you to move in a single direction. You grab the end of the arrow and the red one is the x-axis. So now we're moving along the x-axis. The numbers tell you exactly how far you moved, so you can move it pretty precisely. The blue one for the z-axis, the green one for the y. If you grab the yellow, you can freely move it in any direction. The ones in between let you move in two directions. So the blue one is a little, it's, it's, laying, it's a square laying down, so when you move it, you do not move up and down. This one is a square, it's standing up. It's a plane through X and Y. When you move, you do not move in the Z direction. And the green one is a plane standing in the Z and the Y. So when you grab it and you move it, you do not move in the X direction. I know, it's a little bit confusing. After a while you get used to it. I uh, usually use the single arrows, it's a lot easier. The offset allows you to move in any one or more directions at the same time. And you can move it relative or absolute. So let's do absolute origin. There you go. If I want to move it up, say 100 in the Y direction relative to where I am, it moves it up. And let's move it up all the way and I show you the, the third type, it's place on grid and it puts it back on the XZ plane. Gizmo, that's the little uh, arrows here, the colored arrows. And you can see the green one is standing straight up. Let's rotate it. 45. Go back to move. You can see the, the gizmo rotates together with the object. So the green, and uh, if you go back, before rotation the green was pointing up. Now it's slanted and when you try to move it, it moves in a slanted way. And that's because the gizmo is set to object. Now you, when you set it to world, the object moves along the world axis, which is up and down. You can see normals as well. That's more for uh, polygons. So we'll talk about it when we talk about polygons. Let's see. We talked about everything. Reset button sets everything back to the default. Scale works very similar to move, but of course it scales. No arrows, but little bricks. And when you drag them, you scale in one direction, all directions with the yellow one, or two with the ones in between. Gizmo works the same way as with uh, move percentage. You can scale the whole object. Let's do this back. Or you can scale in one or more directions at the same time. Rotate. Same thing again, the gizmo. So the red one, it rotates slanted way. If you do to go to world, it rotates it along the y-axis. And you can rotate along one xyz axis a precise number of degrees. Dematerialize. Let's first materialize it. So uh, you can drag and drop a picture here. It has to be a precise size. And I have one right here. Let's drag it, select it, apply it. So your object has a material and you want to dematerialize. Okay. Smooth. Doesn't make much sense for a cube. I'll show you. If you smooth it a couple of times, you basically create a sphere or rather a flat sphere. Let's delete this and let's try it out with a sphere and with little geometry. 
you can see the sphere is uh, pointed, it has little points, and it won't look good when you do a rendering. So smoothing is for making things look good in renderings. So you do OK, you do it a couple of times, and now it will look much better in a 3D rendering. OK, that's the end of part one. Thanks for watching. You can watch part two and more tutorials at figro.io.